I'm here, guitar show, Italy. But you know that because it's well the only guitar show I've been to in a long time. And I'm here at, um, I don't know how to say this, Mo Moyentale. I think his name is Enrico. He's over there talking to customers, which is important because they actually buy the guitars. I just talk about them. I played one of these without knowing what I was playing at Red 7 amplification over there in the other hall. And it was a Les Paul and I was blown a fucking way. First of all, the amp was phenomenal, yes. But the guitar was so good. And I was like, that must be some Italian master luthier. And it is who also sells his instruments for way too little money. All those Italians build amazing guitars and they make them way too cheap. What you see here is between two and three thousand bucks, which is really a joke for the amazing love and attention to detail that you see on them. So what you clearly see at Morientale is the guy loves cars, loves cars. He's building something based on a Lamborghini, based on a, I don't even remember, on a, on a Venice, canal boat so when we look at these they i mean just the, the craftsmanship is insane but he always has little uh like gauges car gauges they're actually they're different ones they're actually different car gauges probably that he rips out of his kids toys and then go to vintage style locking tuners that's what we want to see but look at the trust rod cover i mean that is just love for the craftsmanship that's insane love this thin neck profile which is very cool this is a michael bolton i mean nice thick trim block in there and then just look at this pick guard I mean, do we even care what it sounds like? This is such a labor of love, and this thing isn't 5,000 bucks. Andy yesterday, wait, let me put this straight. Andy played this baby, slightly aged, but I mean, look at the cavity covers right there. That's insane, a little bit of a carve up there, and then this crazy, beautiful trim right there. Two P90s. Bird's eye maple neck to die for. This is absolutely crazy good shit. And the guy doesn't want ridiculous money. Okay, I understand for a lot of you guys, spending over 2,000 bucks on a guitar is a lot. And I get this. But when you get into handmade custom built shit, that's what you got. You, you, for something like this in Germany, five grand. Because some German builders, you know, that's what they want. Look at those cavity covers. And then, of course, you know, I like blue. Look at that aging right there. These big ass, probably P90s. Crazy kind of trim on it. I mean, and just the, the, the pickup switch. It feels every single guitar he does is an absolute unique piece of art. And everything, again, car themed. So if you're into, into old cars, I mean, come on, those screws look very small to hold a neck. Are we trusting that? Are we trusting Mr. Marientala? I think we should. Big binding with huge lumen lace. Are they centered? Well, they're not quite centered. Block in lace. But then, of course, the front of this instrument is insane. And it's a semi-hollow. Wow. Ugh, I can't hold up guitars anymore. Now, I very much like this single cut. It actually really reminds me of the Ibanez AZS. Obviously, this came first, I would assume. Now, look at the shapings here of the body. How beautifully rounded off that is. There's, of course, that shaping because, you know, that's what the customers want, even though it's total bullshit. He did make a heavy plate here because the guitar was so light that it was a little bit top heavy. So it did have a little bit of a neck dive and he counteracted that with this plate. A little bit of a volute, that's how you do it. And then again, truss rod cover, that is absolutely beautiful. And you have to love the simplicity 
but the beautiful lines. And you know what, Ibanez, I'm sorry, but if the AZS looked like that, you would sell a million of them. Because this is AZS idea, but I think design-wise, just better. But what do I know? And then of course we've got these gauges in here, look at that. That's of course crazy. Beautiful dots with a ring around it, a little bit of a volute. Amazing work right there. And we're gonna look at this gold top, which apparently was supposed to be less poor, but then it didn't turn out to be less poor because the guy that bought it uh, wanted it, loved the one that I played at Red 7 so much. I'm can't do this straight. Better. Now this is an amazing piece of mahogany, like a ridiculous piece of mahogany. Excuse me? Yes. I'm making a video here. Yes, so am I. Yeah, but, but I was here first. Yeah, but I'm bigger. Okay. Um, this is my so, um, Really, really insane mahogany body. I, it's very difficult to concentrate with Andy in the back. Look at this cavity cover there. That is just to die for. And then it's got this uh, maybe walnut, maybe wenge. It might be a, a rosewood neck, which of course is what I like. Locking tuners. Look at the front of that puppy. Huh? 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 That's nice. Think of that one. I already covered it. I said it's your guitar. I even talked about you favorably, favorably. And then you came in here and you destroyed my video with your face. Bye. That's the man behind the guitars. That's the genius who builds these. What, what wood is this? Roasted maple. Charcoal. Ah, oh, that's very dark roasted. Oh, yes. Very dark. Almost darker like the Madagascar rose with the fingerboard. Wow, so that's Madagascar rosewood on the fingerboard and that's very dark roasted maple. What an amazing guitar! Thank you. 
Wow, what a freaking guitar. It might also be the amp, the lazy amp, but the combination is just, I don't need drive ever. I mean, there's, there's a drive, but who needs a drive when it sounds clean like that? Let's see if it's a fluke or if more of these sound like that. We shall find out. I'll be right back. Let's find out what this thing can do. That doesn't suck at all. I'm, I'm, I'm good with that. I, I, I can live with that. One more, we need one more, and that's of course the gold one. We need the gold one. Because everyone says, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, you know, we gotta play that guitar, so okay. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I gotta play the guitar. So let's find out what this thing can do. That's really dark roasted maple. Three pickups, but the one in the middle is different, even though it looks the same. That's what I heard yesterday, that's all I can tell you. Damn 
damn, that's a unique guitar. First of all, damn, does it sound good. Secondly, damn. Third, it's got the weird wiggle stick and the gold, which isn't necessarily my thing, but damn, I wouldn't care. Uh, and it's got the con everything is so unique. Doesn't have a string tree up here, which I would say, why? But it doesn't seem to be any problem for the guitar, even though it doesn't have an angled headstock. Locking tuners, holy shit! And there you go. How much? I don't know what that means. It's 2,600 euro. You'd be a freaking idiot not to buy that for 2,600. How in the world is that only... They're opposite, oh, we, we got spaghetti, we got wine, we got pasta, we got everything we need. Why do we need money? That's what the Italians are thinking. We don't need money, we got everything. We got the sun, we got the pretty ladies. Why the fuck do we need money? Let's just build guitars and give them away. That's what they're thinking. You are insane, man. Okay, 2,600 bucks, it can be yours. Link to everything below. Wow. Um, animals at the end. Take me